Ah, uh, Electric Forest. Located in Rothbury, Michigan, just about a five hour drive south of me, it's been on my to-do list pretty much since it began. Loved by hippies, ravers, and bass heads alike, and I just happen to be all three. The forest features wild characters, beautiful art installations, amazing shows that will make you go absolutely feral, a community of peace, love, unity, and respect, and you can expect the unexpected. We camped here for five days and still missed things, but we had the time of our life. I normally vlog powwows, but I thought, why not take you with me to the forest too? This is us trying to buy dry ice. <laughs> Make sure you put the top on there. <laughs> we made it! We made it! We made it! <laughs> we got in line at 2.17 and it is now 5 o'clock on the dot. And we're finally in our spot. We took two cars and we're gonna set up our tents in front of it. Wish us luck. Really cool sticker. Son muchas las formas que toma el veneno. Solo necesito tu carta. Spicy hot air balloon. Blown up. It doesn't need to be drawn. And don't forget the RV party. <laughs> Are you home? Quick forest tip get these micro sponges from Amazon or whatever the hell, because all you do is get them wet. This one hasn't gotten wet all the way. And it puffs up. And you can wash your face. Oh my god, there's dirt on my nose. Okay, it's gone now. <laughs> so do you get to pay one box or like as many boxes as you want? They said sub. We have found our place. <laughs> Closer, look closer. Oh, there we go. <laughs> awesome, there we go. Got it. Thank you.
I can't fucking walk backwards though. <laughs> I'm Thank you. 
time you remember to lay Sema, this is you. Happy Forest!
I have work flu. <laughs> <coughs> Hello, today is Thursday. It is a week after the festival started. And I just thought I'd give a little recap of my time. So first of all, let me just say it is amazing just how much time we spent there. Yet we still missed quite a bit. <laughs> A big reason that we missed um, a lot of things is because I was slow to move around and I got sore really easily and that's just because I broke my ankle in February and I am still healing from it. So a few things that we missed and that we didn't get to do were uh, brainery workshops, we just didn't make it to any of those, as well as the yoga each day. Uh, we wanted to, but we're like, man, it's just way too hot to do some yoga right now. Speaking of it being hot, we also didn't make it to the lake slash water park. We never did get to ride the Ferris wheel. We talked about it. Um, and we also didn't ride a hot balloon. But that one wasn't very important to us. I guess there were there was wrestling as well. Completely missed that. I didn't even know that that was happening. We also completely missed Shaq. Shaq was there. <laughs> And another thing is like uh, there's usually like little scavenger hunts and like fairy houses that you can find. Um, completely forgot to even partake in that. I also didn't get to check out the Dream Emporium. I really, 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 really wanted to. Um, as well as the Pride Party. And this is because we were actually on our way to the Pride Party. And our plan was after the Pride Party, we would go to the Dream Emporium. But that is when the big storm, the Hurricane Carl, came in and uh, took that time away from us. The festival closed for about three hours because of the storm. Um, and we actually didn't know that they rescheduled the Pride Party until it was too late. They rescheduled it for about 6.30 p.m. I got the notification on my phone at about 7 and that's just because service is spotty there. So if you go to Electric Forest, you're probably not going to have cell service. So don't expect to have it. And that is a perfect segue into talking about the storm too. Uh, oh my god, that storm was absolutely crazy. It knocked stuff over. I will forever have the safest place is your car <laughs> ringing in my ear. And we were pretty fortunate to not have our camp completely, you know, fucked we um lowered our canopies we also used heavy duty stakes some people weren't as lucky they their canopies went flying in the air canopies broke into windshields uh one girl i seen her on tiktok afterwards she talked about how a canopy was flying in the air and it hit her in the head and it landed her in the er and you know afterwards as i showed you in the vlog there were just piles of people's broken camping equipment in the trash removal areas. So I definitely say that we were on the luckier end of things. But um, rain did get into our bed, our bedding area. So our bedding got wet. And man, it was kind of a miserable night of, of sleep or lack thereof, I should say. But it was still an um, amazing time. I can't even tell you all the artists that we've seen because there's just there's so many some of which we plan to go to some of which we stumbled on and we're just like yeah this is good let's stay here like uh kaiwachi that was that was one for me that we stumbled upon and i'm like we got to stay here for a little bit and some artists you know you just hear them as you're walking past the stage and you're like i wonder who's playing over there they're pretty good 
One little highlight for me is I have a Lunchbox Hydro Pack and you can purchase skins to decorate them on your own. And so I crocheted this Mandela and put it on there. Um, and it's also very subtly the lesbian flag colors. <laughs> and somebody who works for Lunchbox, they came and gave me some candy because they liked my Lunchbox. <laughs> few more things before i go quick little tip um you always have like this flap on your wristband right here if you wear um a hair tie like this you can just like tuck it into your hair tie and boom it's out of your way we also left the festival on monday morning at about 7 30 a.m we actually planned on getting up at seven and leaving by eight but at about six o'clock I had had like two hours of sleep because like I said, our bedding was wet. It continued to rain and drip on me that night. So I was just like, I cannot sleep. I am so freaking cold that I'm shivering everywhere. Let's just get up and pack right now. So we left at about 7.30 a.m. and we got out in 15 minutes. And when I was reading the Reddit later that day, I guess the later in the day that you wait, the longer you're going to be waiting to get out. Some people were waiting like three hours to get out of the festival grounds. So if you go to Electric Forest, man, you best pack up early and get the hell out of there. I absolutely loved Electric Forest. I cannot stress how much I recommend this festival. You just, if you want to go, you better come right. Come with that good attitude. Come with that plur research how to camp at a camping festival because once you get in you're stuck and you got to do all the things to make yourself comfortable and would i ever go again 100 percent. in fact i plan to i want to go again <laughs> so thank you electric forest for accepting my hundreds of dollars and thank you to you for watching this video especially if you made it this far and you're just watching me talk at this point and I will see you on the next video. Bama pi, Gladman.